Hey guys, it's been two years since I have actually left the community, and I'm hoping that this will be an understanding of a video that I will make. Um, it relates to why I left the community and why I'm coming back. Um, yeah. So, so, um, so, just so you know, ignore my parents out there, whatever they're talking. So, basically, um, I wanted to talk about why I'm coming back to the community and which has been, you know, you know, um, which has been submitted, I guess, to myself. I have no idea. But, just so you know, guys, before I actually get into the subject, I might change subjects by accident because I can't function right now. Not function perfectly, or either if I have, like, stutters and whatnot. Because I'm really anxious about making videos now. Not like anxious, but just when I talk, I just can't function. Because it's not reading what I'm thinking. But whatever. So, I wanted to talk about why I'm coming back to the community itself. And a few other random things I will come across with. And just say, no, I'm actually like selling all this. So ignore, ignore the, the trash over here. I don't care about it. Um, I um, have been... I, the reason why I wanted to come back was because I felt that I missed the community for a bit and I felt really sad that I was without it because things have probably changed a lot. I, you know, you might remember me on Discord being rejected over something stupid, I guess, that I did or something I said and whatever. I don't remember what I did, but for sure I had to freak out over it while I was in the kitchen, whatever. I know that sounds funny, but it isn't because I was actually in the kitchen that day when I had that freak out. Just, like, sitting at the table, looking at the tablet, and then just freak out about what I saw on Discord. Um, or what was written on Discord, the exposures about me, and being rejected because of those exposures. Um, I wanted to talk about my, my stupid, ugly past when it comes to the community. And that stupid, ugly past is me taking over toys and why I wanted this, I wanted that thing and why I've changed from that recently. But because of that, you know, over time, I, you know, over time, I changed a lot from with, within what I did. And, um, yeah. So I wanted to talk about, like, why I'm literally here and why I'm not, you know, anywhere else with stuff. But for sure that it comes to mind as being more subjective. So, for me, I wanted to talk about the stupid shit I've ever done, in the most stupidest shit, like, you know, I've ever done in the community. Like, you might guys remember the video I made about the 4MS. I still have the 4MS up there, actually, as you can tell with that religious painting, of course. Um, yeah, so basically, um, I wanted to talk, so I wanted to mention that the reason why I was, you know, hold on, I'm trying to think right now, I'm just trying to think, just, just saying now, I'm, I'm trying to think, uh, so you might guys know that, you guys might know that, like, remember, you might remember the video that I created with saying the whoever got the 4MS fuck you video, I think that was called, the message. I didn't mean to say the whole thing because I remember it easily. It's just that my old past was just dumb and such. That was my 2019 era when it comes to the community. And it was awful. For me, it was awful. Other kids were kind of dramatic. And I was dramatic because I didn't understand myself. I didn't understand anyone around me with, with all the commotion I had said. And the most things I would ever say is like... You know, this really, really smart thing of, like, this really smart-ass thing of me to say is kind of offensive overall, because it was, like, two years ago, in 2020, so I will not mention what that insult was, because that insult was hurtful, and it even hurtful to myself, so it was quite an embarrassment in the, the community itself, and then the chats themselves on Discord. So, I wanted to, um say that I am sorry about my conflicting behavior in the community back then. I've changed a lot from that, including I've gone into music itself. 
I've gone to music, I've changed a lot, yes, my room has changed, and I wanted to mention that I don't want to come back to the community itself because I don't trust, you know, people in there with being trolls and whatnot. The thing is, is that I'm still coming back to making content again, for sure. I am in some maybe on some chats, but most likely on, you know, Cameron C's side and whatnot, but yeah. You might saw me. You might have saw me in that one live stream, the New Year's live stream that I was with Cameron and Pug, and then some others, and that was me being really awkwardish, weirdo, of course, because I like to show off, and that's my stupid personality. Um, yeah. So, you might as well know that uh, I'm not trying to be like, like very insultive and very negative about my emotions. Emotions, I should say. And, um, yeah, it's, it's quite awful in any form, but I have changed a lot from, like, my behavior-wise. It's just that my, 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 you know, personality hasn't really changed. It's just that, you know, it's just that I conflict on that, and I felt bad for what I did, and I wanted to say that, again, I want to say again that I'm sorry about, you know, what I said from a long time ago and whatnot, and since there's no dislike, there's since there's no dislike buttons on, there's. I'm sorry. I'm trying to. I'm lost in words too, but since there's no more dislike button, um, I should say that. Um, since I mean, since the dislike button was removed, I should say that if there's likes and I'm fine with it or dislikes, I don't care. And I don't care if you insult me in the comments too of this video because I feel that like I need to learn more of my lessons and not my life lessons and morals and not. It's just that I need to need to understand the community more better and hoping to. And you know, I was mocked in the community for several things that I liked and I was no it was obnoxious to talk about back then, including the rotoscope content and then just everything about it in the past. And people jokingly said I have fetishes over a few toys in which I do not but it's, I know it's a joke but or a trolling joke or some sarcasm but then again it, it was still triggering at the time so that was my past self um, as you may know I still have a few toys including the iconic ones up there the Gemini and the Venus um, I'm, yeah so what's good is that I'm actually selling my baby Einstein toys to a few people yeah, including Cameron and whatnot, but I'm not going to explain what he's getting, um, because it's a surprise. Um, yeah, that's probably going to start drama, of course, I can sense it in the comments, and, uh, yeah. So I wanted to talk about what I'm selling right now, what I'm not selling, including the kinetic motion toys, like the perpetual ones, and I'm... Um, and I'm selling the baby the baby toys and I'm selling you know certain toys that I don't need anymore that are grown ups that they're not grown ups but I'm too grown up for the toys to collect since everyone would have made fun of me that time so then again I'm keeping the the motorized uh, kinetics so what which one so the ones I'm willing to sell for on eBay is like the ones I'm not actually I'm not actually gonna sell on eBay is the kinetic frogs, the run giraffe run, and then the um oh gosh, that, that's probably it. Um yeah, that's it, isn't it? So the run giraffe run, the the um the the kinetic frogs and the yeah. That's it. So what I what I was going to do yeah you know what actually I'm gonna keep the Cosmos rings because I changed my mind I've always liked the Cosmos rings more than the Galaxy rings themselves so I thought I, I would keep that too so right now I wanted to say that I'm still collecting kinetics and some baby Einstein toys that are there for for a good teen age and whatnot and hoping that hoping that um that will be understandable. I have a new YouTube channel in which I'll not send the link because it's to most people that I like to get my other content. I like to have my own people content and then, you know, every, every individual content that I don't like people taking crossover for. 
and um, yeah. So um, I wanted to make an announcement that I'm coming back again, so that's it. I'm hoping that makes sense, but if any of the videos, if anything of what I said does not make sense at all, then, then I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say to it. Because I'm very awkward and very weird with what I'm saying right now, since I feel that it's uncomfortable for me to talk like this. But, whatever. So, if you guys are willing to um, understand the video, please do, because it's really important for me to, you know, observe and why I was an idiot back in the past. And I've done worse back in the past that people could remember. And if you're like a, a baby Einstein enthusiast that remembers me and then and then tells me like you've done worse than that, please do. And I'll learn my lesson from it because I realized that I've done worse. And I was like a dumbass back then. So I've learned a lot from the community. So I'm hoping that will give a raise. So I hope you guys understand this and hoping that it will be good. Thank you guys so much for watching this and hoping that I can make content. Bye.